Hi there, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a custom GPTs in Grok AI. Well, technically, there is no such a thing as GPT in Grok because GPT is an exclusive term in ChatGPT. But in Grok AI, we have something that is basically the same and it is called workspaces. The same way in Gemini, there is no GPT. Instead, they call it gems. In Perplexity, they don't have GPT. They call it spaces. And in Grok AI, it is called workspaces. So basically, you can provide a custom instruction at the beginning. And in that particular chat window, AI will always look at the instruction that you provided and will give you answer based on that instruction. So let me give you one example. This is a custom instruction or custom workspace that I created on Grow AI, where whatever I write on the prompt, it has to be treated as a YouTube title and therefore AI must answer it with a YouTube video description. That's the goal of this, this workspace on my Grow account. If I read something like iPhone, sorry about that, iPhone versus Android, and that's about it. I don't write anything else. When I send a message, it will treat that as a video topic and will create a simple video description. That's pretty amazing, and that's the benefit of using this feature on Grok AI. It will speed up your work process. Now let's go back to the home page and let me show you how you can create one for yourself. So let's click on click on this workspace icon, workspace menu, and then click add new. And for this demonstration, I'll try to create a custom workspace that will help me learn scientific concept and AI must answer it in the language of a five-year five-year-old kid. So let's rename this to let's say science for five years old. And by the way, you can also change the icon right here. I guess I'm gonna be using the Apple icon, that's a scientific icon after all. And also you can click on this button to set up the custom instruction. You can write the prompt right here. So let me just copy and paste the prompt that I prepared. You explain complex scientific concepts as if talking to a five-year-old. Use simple analogies of a jargon, uh, of a jargon, incorporate familiar examples, and maintain scientific accuracy while being engaging and fun. Let's click save. And here you can actually attach a file from your computer or from your Google Drive and OneDrive account. And it is also possible to reference a picture that, that you created using Grok AI. And yes, you can create pictures with Grok AI. And you can also see the attachment and past conversations that you have on this particular workspace in your Grok account. And if you look at here, there is this menu to rename and remove the entire workspace. But I'm not going to talk about that. So let's start using this AI workspace. Uh, I want to learn something about what is a black hole. And you can enable deep search and also deep research if you want to, but I don't think that's going to be necessary. You can also enable the reasoning mode, which is the thinking mode. It's going to take a bit more time, but usually the answer is going to be a lot more accurate. And you can select the model. Right now, Grok3 is, Grok is the latest, and you can enable or disable the web search mode. And after that, let's send a message and just wait for Grok AI to answer this question based on the instruction that I provided. All right, so this is the answer. It's definitely it's not using any weird and uncommon scientific jargon. It's quite simple and easy to understand. So that's the benefit of using the workspace on Grok. If you want to create a new, a new thread or a new conversation, you can click on the workspace again and start a new conversation. Let's say I want to learn about helium and hydrogen. Let's send a message and just wait for Grow AI to generate the answer. But that's basically it. That's how you can create a workspace in Grow AI. So I hope you find this video to be useful. And if that was the case, then feel free to subscribe to this channel and I'll see you on my next video. Have a great day.